Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY video. I'm going to be DIYing my own eyebrow and lash tint. You can get these little kits from 1000 Hour. I got it at a trade show maybe two months ago. And um, is that a pimple on the end of my nose? Who invited you? So I'm going to be trying this at home. Obviously, as you guys know, my eyebrows are tattooed on, but tattooing is on the skin and the dye is going to be dyeing the hairs. So I still think I can use it, right? It will still hopefully make a difference. My eyelashes, I also often get lifted and tinted or I get lash extensions, but obviously I don't have any of those right now and I'm going overseas tomorrow. So I wanted to look a little bit fresh. So let's hope this doesn't go wrong. So this is by 1000 Hour. I got the color blue black. Let's open it up. So, ooh, you get instructions and a spoolie when you first open it. So then when you open the kit, you have a little spatula thing. This is the die in blue-black, and this is the developer. So I need to read how to do this, because I have no idea. Okay, things you need. Paper toweling, a dish of cold tap water, Vaseline, cotton wool balls, and cotton buds. Okay, I had everything except Vaseline. So let me just read ahead and see if I can still do it. Okay, first step, make sure your lashes are completely clean by removing natural oils as well as makeup with a non-oily cleanser. Next it says squeeze into the mixing cup. I don't have a mixing cup, it didn't tell me to get a mixing cup. Is it possible that it's this? Okay, next step, I need the little mixer, I need the dye cream, and I need the developer liquid. It says to mix about 2.5 centimeters of cream into the mixing. And then 10 drops of the developer liquid. One, two, three. Oh shit, that was about five. Oh, now you don't want to come out. What the fuck? Okay, that's about 10. <laughs> Shit. Mix together well using the wand provided. So as you know, I didn't have Vaseline. I was gonna use just like a lip ointment, but I have this apricot balm, which is a similar texture. It says to apply a film of this, or Vaseline above and below the lashes. Next step, apply to the lashes using the white wand or the mascara style wand as if you were applying normal mascara, leave on for 10 minutes. Okay, so that means I guess I will apply it to my eyelashes first because I have to leave it on my eyelashes for 10 minutes and I leave it on my eyebrows for six minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna set the timer now. I'm gonna get some on the wand. I don't know how much to have on the wand. Okay, I'm trying not to get it on my skin, obviously. Shit. Forgot to take a before and after, so let me take a before of my eyelashes and eyebrows. <gasps> okay, eyelashes done. God, that took me six minutes. Okay, for eyebrows, follow the same instructions but leaving it on. Shit, got it everywhere on my face. Ooh, damn, that looks good. It's been 10 minutes since I started putting it on, so in maybe two minutes, I'm gonna start taking this off. So next, I need the cotton wool ball, and I need to dampen it. And then I need to you know, carefully remove the dye away from my lashes. And then once most of it's off, you can wipe the rest off. Oh yeah. Ooh, I see a difference. Oh, and there's no dye left on my skin. Even though I definitely got some on there. That's what the cotton pad looks like. Now I'm going to do the left eye, so take most of it off by pulling away. 
Ooh, someone's on my waterline then, so I'm just going to carefully take that off first. Okay, now I'm going to wipe my eyebrows off, removing it using only dampened cotton wool. Oh, fuck. What have I done? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, my eyebrows are blue. <gasps> my eyebrows are blue. Holy shit. Get off her! Oh my god! Oh my god, my eyebrows are blue. Why did I do that? It's really thick in there. You just have to like rub it off the skin. Oh, that's better. This thing is freaking amazing, although I've got dye on it now, so I've probably ruined that one. Honestly, it fixes everything! Taking your makeup off? Face halo. Eyebrow dye on your skin? Face halo. Boyfriend acting up? Face halo. Actually, the more that I wipe away the dye, the more it's coming off my skin thanks to the face halo. And I actually think it's coming out really well. Alright, let me curl my lashes. Wow! Can you see it? I'm gonna put the Pixi H2O Skin Tint on. A little bit of Josie Moran Concealer. Just gonna add a clear brow gel to show you the final look. That's not so bad. After I was finally able to get the dye off of the skin around my eyebrows and the head of my eyebrows, I'm actually pretty happy with it, especially the eyelash tint. It was really easy to apply. I think the instructions were not super clear. It was telling me to use a mixing cup or the mixing cup, and I was like, what the hell is the mixing cup? And it does not tell you anywhere in the instructions. Um, but I managed to figure it out on my own, and it was pretty mess-free. I've just got some dye on my fingers. But I think the result is really good. The eyelashes look uh, a lot darker and the eyebrow hairs as well look a lot darker. I think next time I will just use a dark brown colour for my eyebrows rather than the black. This for me isn't going to replace my visits to Amy Jean Eye Couture. It's just really handy for me since I don't have time to go see her before travelling so that I can look bright and fresh and awake on the plane and um, in the morning so I wear less makeup like while I'm on holidays. All right guys, so the kit costs $15.19, well it's 20% off on priceline.com.au and I would definitely recommend it. It was really easy to do, you can use it on yourself or someone else. The kit, once you open the products, lasts up to 12 months um, and you get 12 applications so you can use it once a month which is really good as I said it's not going to replace my visits to Amy Jean because she also curls my lashes so that they stay up I don't have to keep curling them and it just looks better when she does it way better plus the eyebrows I'll have to like work on that because it didn't come out exactly as I wanted because the colors wrong and I got a lot on my skin I managed to get it off thanks to the face halo but um, I think it could be better Anyway, I do recommend it and it's really cheap compared to what you pay if you go and get your eyelashes done. It's a thumbs up from me. <laughs> what a journey guys, we went through that together. I thought I really screwed up my life then when I did my eyebrows. I'm going to give away one of these kits to someone in my notification squad. All you've got to do to enter is like and leave a comment on the video within the first 12 hours of me uploading it. So make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell and you'll be able to pick what color you want too. You won't be getting the same as me necessarily. And good luck everyone. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.